What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on the Torture of Beta. I hope everybody is having a good Labor Day. This video is updated a little bit later today due to the Labor Day holiday. I hope everybody's having a good Labor Day. And uh, if you're from the States, that is. If you're from out of the States and uh, you don't know what it is, well, then uh, it's a holiday for us. So we're here on the Torture of Beta. There has been a few updates recently. In the game, most notably one of the biggest updates um, to the game is actually the loading screens are a little bit better to help prevent from crashing. But I think it is right there, with right down on the bottom, clutch kick button or clutch kick double tap. So you can choose to have the accelerator as a clutch kick or you can choose to have a clutch itself. As you can see right there, we do have a clutch kick. Gas brake, handbrake, left and right, and gears up. I am using the buttons because tilt is a lot harder to do when I'm actually recording because of the wire that's going to my phone. It gets twisted on my phone, and I unplug it, or it's just it's just a lot harder. So that's why I use the buttons. Um, I want to be getting some buttons for my phone here soon, which will allow me to have buttons up top so I can uh, map the controls to where I don't have to keep using multiple fingers on my phone. But, so as for the updates, it didn't reset our accounts. Um, I have been spending a lot of money recently. So if you've noticed, um, our E30 is uh, pretty high up there in rank and power. Our Supra is actually limited by power because our Forge 2J is not enough. And we are, have to get a higher, uh, higher engine block for this car to maximize performance but unfortunately the motor I want is locked until I am I believe drift king level on this car so we're gonna be trying to get that here soon I could pop a v8 in it but I'm gonna stick with the 2j because we did commit blasphemy on this e30 um, I'll tell you what it is but we're gonna go right into it and use it but uh, it is no longer a BMW motor and it's not a v8 either it's actually a uh, a different motor we did race the yard a little bit we do have ocean drive donut we do have uh zigzag run hidden path and cali banks so oh what did i just pick i guess we're in cali banks uh we're gonna run cali banks with the e30 we are rocking 849 horsepower in this e30 um, we are running the nexon cp 672 tires um, messing around with different tire compounds, trying to figure out what's the best run. It looks like we are going up against a pretty, pretty high-powered uh, car, almost exactly ours. Actually, flip-flopped. So, and if you haven't noticed that startup on this car, we are rocking the rotary in this car. So we're gonna uh, send it in here and see how we do with this car. I haven't really messed with it too much with the rotary, but that's. Really good. That's, that's a way better wall run for that ladder part of that course. Clutch kick button right there, we'll tap the clutch kick. There's a serious angle in the car, right there. And the sound of this rotary that just sounds amazing. The power of this car right now is very easy to get around these courses and keep angle. That's a, that's a, that's a pretty nice run in Cali Bank, even with a mess up on the first initiation over a hundred thousand I wouldn't have uh, been on the bank wall that second part of the track uh, we wouldn't have been able to go 110 so now we are going to go into our chase hopefully this rotary can uh, chase down this uh, S15 and uh, we can come over to the win the first run here of this episode in this rotary E30 he's just leaving us that's not good. So we're gonna have to try to cut the angle down. This is very high. Alright. Uh, I'm so confused because he's way off course. And he's stuck. We are not getting any follow points. Move. 
I think uh, I think the S15 is broken, uh, which is kind of uh, concerning because he had a very good run. So how did he smack into the wall at that part? But which also gets me not getting a uh, a lead run, which means he probably quit or disconnected, and they've eliminated the ability for you to just get massive run points on these cars. I'm assuming. So we're probably going to lose this because unfortunately we got thousand points on the chase and we probably got a lot. We still did win luckily, just barely. So that's one of the things that I've noticed recently that I'm going to submit a, a claim to, a uh, bug report to, is uh, they crash out and you have stop but you don't get points. So if they got a, somehow got a good lead, uh, chase run on you, even though their lead run it looked like they crashed out, then um, you're kind of screwed. Let me know if you guys are feeling that or having that same issue down in the comment section down below. I'd like to know if other people are having the same issue with me. Um, we've uh, Drift King level bronze in the uh, E30. A nice, uh, a nice entry to today's episode, taking a win at Cali Banks. So we are going to go to uh, the Donut at Ocean Drive. The Donut is definitely a very nice place. Um, I'm going to take the Rotary E30 out again. I should probably paint the E30 up, get it a, a nice paint scheme on this. I haven't really messed too much with paint, so maybe I'll uh, do an episode about painting a car or messing with the paint schemes on a car. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comment section down below. If not, I'll just paint it by myself. So we are here at the Donut. C30, we're gonna try and get as much of the wall as we can. That way, right there, early. Trying to get as many points as we can. Trying to get up to two. There, they added walls. They did, they added walls up there before. We had to try to get really close to the uh, guardrail, which is in the grass. So we could get added some pylons here at the donut. They also added some exit parts. They've modified the tracks a little bit. So it's actually, uh, we're making a lot of adjustments to the tracks, which is really nice. And we still have a, a chance to take another W here. That'd be crazy, two wins in a row. I don't think I've done that on this while I'm streaming before. So, like I said, they've been modifying the tracks. They've been listening to everybody's bug updates and everything on those lines. They've been definitely uh, working hard to uh, get this game to release it's not a good chase run but we still should be enough to take the win the chase runs on these are very far in between from being amazing so we should be able to take that win here at the donut just barely but like I said his chase run was only 10 ours was 9 so we took a win there I do uh, cut the angle a little bit to uh, kind of uh kind of different kind of upsetting if you notice we do have 62 torque bucks or gold bullion we did have like 150 but i did buy some crates and stuff and of course the motor and everything like that so now we're going to go to the zigzag run we're just going to run through these courses while we have a chance in this rotary i do have other cars here of course we have my super which you guys saw later at the last episode but now it's white with paint on it we do have a stock brz vs14 MX-5, E46, NS-15, none of which any of those I've driven. As you can see, they're all zero ranking. So we're gonna go back to, I did drive the BRZ. So we are gonna go back to our rotary E30, because uh, I love the sound of the Z30 with the rotary. The rotary sounds in the game being Mad Mike Wood's exact actual sound clips is uh, really awesome to hear. Um, Car's making decent power. I'm pretty happy with how it, it drives. 849 is the highest one I have. Ooh, I like the uh, off mint green uh, S14. 894 horsepower. A lot of these cars have 894 and I have 849. So, see how, uh, see how this goes. The car does like third gear. So, get this this way. Oh, too early. Not, not a good run. Definitely not a very good run, and the wall and dying on 
Uh, so we kind of botched this zigzag entry. So we're probably going to give this one another shot, maybe to pull the super out again. You guys got OMG drift all over the car. One thing I have, I wish people would stop doing all the way. It makes it really hard to have a chase run. Smack the wall like I did. So it makes it really hard to have a chase run. Uh, people are zigzagging across the track, but that's bad. But there's maybe more the points to the smooth um, lead run. So hopefully people will uh, continue to get better at doing lead runs and running the tracks. We're going to hit the hidden path here, and then... Um, maybe take the super out but I'm definitely having a lot of fun with the Z30 um, front tires and rear tires are uh, becoming a more and more scarce because I keep running them and burning through them so I'm gonna have to buy some more tires or win some more tires from crates and stuff and it's the same guy I feel like this is a bot so hidden path here at cone in the rotary E30 So, they've really shortened the times when it comes to uh, abilities to get, get to uh, these markers. Because I was running full speed, but it's like, nope, you're not there soon enough. I can always cut them back down. I'm feeling we're going to lose this one too. Which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. But pick that. They shorten the distance. If you crash, you pretty much DC right away. Oh wow, he's going to be Yep, we're gonna get disqualified. Probably got this record really long. This is a very bad run. So <laughs> they have fixed the frame rate issues a little bit. Um, I do run a little bit lower frame rate than a lot of people, even though I am on the full graphics setting. Because I'm recording, I'm going through my recording software and stuff like that, so my frame rate's a little bit lower when I record. When I play normally, my frame rate's usually 60 and higher, and you know, I'm on you know full settings. So, you know, it's my frame rate being a little bit low when you watch the videos, it is just because of having to go through the recording software through uh, the Ogata and everything like that. So, there is a bit of a frame rate lag in a sense with that. So, I keep, I keep forgetting about that, but you take that. On his door entry, just getting that there's a jump at the end there. Okay. So I think that's gonna do it for uh, this one here. Oh look, he crashed. He's gonna glitch out again. Oh, he just reset. So I feel like if he's resetting, he probably should have been disqualified. Maybe I'm the only one that actually gets disqualified. There was a bit of a finger issue where I was uh, hitting the wrong button on the screen. So this run has just become horrible. Oh, I think that was a uh, update. Okay. Uh, I might have been updated to black screen. He didn't lose that, for sure. So it does look like our events did reset. So I think we're going to take one more event here at the long line before we end this episode off. Um, I am low on tires. That is a new one. Oh, I got like one more run set on these tires. Well, I guess that, that's what we're going to have to do for today. We have to run our final, run, final tire set here on our E30. Um, maybe try and get it to run on a lower quality tire because I got plenty of tires. For a lower set but um this is a very unfair battle but then again i've seen stock cars have amazing runs that are like 
runs that only a high powered car would have. So there is still a chance that we will probably still lose this. I feel like I was perfect speed to get to those clips, but it said no you were not. See, I don't understand that. It's not like I'm driving this slow. This track's slow, but it's like no you are not fast enough to get all these clips. If you guys are noticing that on some of these tracks, let me know down in the comments and tell me, because I've noticed that a couple times where I'm at full speed anyways, but I'm not getting to the clips fast enough. Which makes absolutely no sense to me, but I have no idea. See, there's a 44,000 point run. We're gonna have to really fight ourselves to get it through the chase. Um, don't think we'll be able to take the win on this unless we have any. Definitely overpowered. taking the win on that chase. I am not sure. That was a uh, pretty good chase run. Nice and, uh, nice and transitioning. We did. We took the win on the chase. So, oop. Take a look at that chase run again. A very, very nice chase run. The transitions were pretty good. We were a little far back, but right there. A little hesitation, but I didn't hit it. Right behind him. We could have been a lot closer in this section, but we it on that tire drop. But we did dive in on his door in the later part of the track. So I think we are going to end it on this. If you guys know, like what you see, and you want to see more, don't forget to tap the like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate all the support. So until next time, guys, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch. Twitter and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. I uh, no, I don't want to say that. So until next time, guys. Like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. Three looks pretty sweet. It needs new paint. <laughs> and I'm out.